Finally today, though, President Biden and congressional Democrats are working on their strategy for passing a big COVID relief bill, and that's with or without the help of Republicans. Alice Barr now from Washington to continue our coverage. Longer than just four years. President Biden today leading an urgent push on COVID relief, meeting with Senate Democrats in the Oval Office two days after hosting Republicans here. Despite a massive partisan divide, the White House projecting optimism the president's nearly $2 trillion plan will get some GOP backing. Our view is that this bill itself is bipartisan. 74% of the public support it. Nevertheless, Democrats who've now officially taken the reins of both the House and Senate laying the groundwork to go it alone, rather than dramatically scaling down to something Republicans would support. We must not, must not, repeat the mistakes of the past and do too little, too reluctantly, and too late. The rushed budget process that will play out this week is exactly, exactly the wrong path toward making law. All Senate Democrats would have to vote together to pass the bill without Republicans, and West Virginia moderate Joe Manchin is insisting on a bipartisan process. If they think that they're going to basically, we're going to throw all caution to the wind and, and just shove it down people's throat, that's not going to happen. The partisan rancor pausing today for a final farewell to Officer Brian Sicknick, the Capitol police officer who lost his life defending that building from a violent mob bent on derailing democracy. Lawmakers honoring his legacy as law enforcement continues the search to bring those responsible to justice. That attack on the Capitol and the motivations behind it will be the central question next week as former President Trump faces his second impeachment trial. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.